right? South Dakota, um, Rhode Island, Queensland, Pennsylvania, O's. Um, oh, okay, I got it now. Ranking the states in alphabetical order, part 14. Up next, in 37th place, we have Oregon. Hello, Steve. Do you see what I have here? I have your notebook. That's right. Your notebook. The one where you listed out all 50 states in alphabetical order from beginning to end. Now listen here. If you don't give me what I want, I'm going to take this notebook and I'm going to do a video of my own going through each and every one of them in just one video ruining your video series. <laughs> You on the air? You on the air? Okay. Ranking the states in alphabetical order, part 15. In 37th place, we have Oklahoma! I warned you, Steve. You didn't give me what I want. I'd go through the entire list of states in alphabetical order and spoil your videos. I don't think so, Alan. <gasps> Virgil, my no-good twin brother, what are you doing here? Oh, Alan, if there's an evil one of us, it's you spoiling people's TikToks. I've come here to stop you. Oh, damn it, people need to do their TikToks in one video. No part twos, damn it. Damn it, a storytelling is about the journey, not the destination. What the? Oh, ouch. Oh, I'll get you, Alan. Stop scrolling. Are you from Georgia? If you're from Georgia, I'd like to talk to you real quick. Why, hello, Georgians. Some of you might have heard this rumor that the Republicans of Georgia are going to be boycotting these upcoming Senate elections. Well, let me tell you right now, that's a bunch of poppycock. No Georgian Republicans going to be boycotting these up-and-coming elections. They just want you to think they're boycotting it. That way, if there's a rainy day or something, you'll say to yourself, well, you know what? I don't think I need to go out and vote. The Democrats have got this elections in the back, all right? You need to get out and vote on January 5th. Come rain, shine, or get an invasion, okay? And vote for Reverend Warnock and that other fellow, uh, John Aschenfaschen Faffershepherfaschershep. That is all. Have a blessed day. Shut up, Virgil, you bastard! I hate you! This will teach you to skip to the end of the story and do it in one fucking video! Go just stand there, you bloody wanker! Shoot him! Pick up the gun! Pick it up and shoot him! Shoot the bastard! Shoot him, you wanker! Shoot him! Shoot him, you bastard! Shoot the bastard! Shoot us both! Shoot him, you wanker! Shoot him! Shoot us both! Shoot both of us! Team, in 35th place, we have the Buckeye State, Ohio. Last video, I was talking about how these Georgian Republicans are not actually going to boycott the elections like they say they are. This is just a trick they're trying to pull on the Democrats so they're not compelled to vote, right? Well, here's another reason these Georgian Republicans are boycotting the election. And that is because they know they're going to lose, right? It's the same thing that's going on in Venezuela right now. They've got some elections going on. 
uh, Maduro and his people are, you know, a part of that. But uh, Juan Guido and his opposition party, I don't know their names, uh, they're not taking part in the elections. They're boycotting it, boycotting it, because they know they're going to lose. No one in Venezuela likes that fish face fucking his, his friends. So to save face, they say they're boycotting the election. That's exactly what these Georgian Republicans are doing. They're boycotting these, boycotting these Senate elections. So when they lose, they can say, oh, because we boycotted. Steve here. Okay, so I just got done watching the first episodes of The Wilds on Amazon Prime, and there was something in there I wanted to test out. Okay, so In The Wilds is a show about a bunch of girls who, uh, their plane crash, and they end up on this deserted island, right? And there's this one scene, I think, in the first episode, where two of them are down on the beach, and all the wreckage from the plane wreck is washing up on shore, and they start picking up these Diet Cokes. And one of the girls asks, why do you think it's just the Diet sodas? And one of them says, well, it's, it's because it doesn't have the sugar that regular sodas have, so that's why they float and they end up washing on the beach. I wanted to test that out. Okay, so we have a regular Coke with sugar in it. And it kind of feels like it's sinking there. And we'll go with the Diet Coke, which is supposed to float because it doesn't have that much sugar. And... No, I really can't tell the difference, but it does look like the diet soda is floating a lot more than the regular one. Okay, you do the wishing, we'll do the blowing. Okay, so a happy birthday to all of you who are happen to have happy birthdays today. Uh, we're thinking of making this a regular thing on the channel, uh, wishing people happy birthdays. So if you have someone who has a birthday coming up, let us know, and we will wish them a happy birthday on their birthday. Uh, once again, happy birthday. Okay, so the Electoral College voted today, and they decided to go with Joe Biden. All right? But listen here, my fellow Americans. There is still a way in which President Trump can remain president. You gotta listen. You gotta listen very carefully. Are you listening? You hear that? Psych! <laughs> Not only did you lose, but you just got whammed! <laughs> okay, moving on to the Georgia Senate runoff elections. Uh, one question that's come up is, what's the point in voting in these races? Because even if the Democrats win both of them, and you get that 50-50 split in the Senate, anything the Democrats uh, would try to do, like pack the Supreme Court with liberal justices, or end that rule in the Senate that says you need 60 votes to end a filibuster, all of that will be shot to hell by Senator Joe Manchin, that conservative Democrat out of West Virginia. Here's the thing. If it's a 50-50 split... 50 Republicans, 50 Democrats. Joe Manchin is not going to have the cojones to be that one guy who decides whether or not a bill passes in the Senate. No, just look at the Kavanaugh vote, right? He waited to the very last second till he knew how everyone else was going to vote when he knew the Republicans were going to win before he said, yeah, I'll go with you guys and vote for Kavanaugh. He's got no balls, so don't worry about Joe Manchin. Okay, so... We've covered this before on the channel, but I'm going to go over it again. So let's say that Vice President Mike Pence, acting as uh, President of the Senate, along with the Republicans in the Congress, decide they're going to pull a long guido on us and not certify the results of the Electoral College system vote. What would happen next? Would Donald Trump remain President? No, he would not. All this would do would be to create a vacancy without a certified winner, right? So when President Trump, as well as Vice President Pence's terms, end on January 20th, according to the line of succession, the Speaker of the House would become President. I know, I'm just getting chills thinking of that Aztec mummy Pelosi becoming President. I mean, even that doesn't have it happen, because the uh, new Congress coming in could vote for Joe Biden as their Speaker of the House, and then he could still become President. Okay, so today is the day in which the Electoral College, the people who do the actual voting in our presidential election, will be voting. So let's all keep an eye on the news for developments in that. 
Now, uh, as far as I can tell, the electorals who are supposed to be voting for Joe Biden today have not been replaced. Uh, remember, Trump had tried to do that in Georgia and Pennsylvania, I think, but it fell through. That being said, we cannot guarantee that they haven't been bribed, blackmailed, or uh, threatened into changing their votes. Remember, Trump only needs to get 38 of these people who are supposed to vote for Joe Biden to vote for someone else, tank this thing, and then he gets kicked to the House of Representatives where he has an advantage. Uh, you know, I'm just going to say it, this is just another damn reason we need to get rid of the Electoral College. I mean, what I said might seem improbable, but it's not impossible. Okay. Okay, moving on to the Georgia Senate runoff elections. So I see a lot of TikTokers from outside of Georgia are trying to get these Georgians to vote for the Democrats, which would be fine if they weren't doing such a terrible job of it. All these non-Georgians want to talk down to the Georgia voters in the most pretentious, pompous, and condescending tones you could ever imagine. They act like if you don't listen to them, these Georgians, they're a bunch of morons. All right, knock that shit out. All right, they're not going to listen to a bunch of out of state snobs. We're going to have to be fucking nice to them if we want to get the fucking votes, you fucking morons. It's like that old saying you catch more flies with honey than by being a complete asshole. <laughs> okay, so. Today, uh, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell uh, congratulated Joe Biden for his victory in the 2020 presidential election. And he uh, urged all Republicans to accept the results of the 2020 election. Now, this made the magna crowd mad because they think all Republicans need to give uh, Donald Trump 110% in his efforts to stay in the White House. And they have threatened to boycott the Georgia Senate runoff elections, which will determine who controls the Senate. So it begs the question, why did Mitch McConnell do this? Well, Mitch is simply asserting himself leadership-wise. To him, it doesn't matter who wins in Georgia. If the Republicans win, they control the Senate, great. But if they lose, well, it's just a 50-50 split, and Mitch McConnell will use that to filibuster everything the Democrats do. So now, if uh, Donald Trump is gone, all the spotlight will go to Mitch McConnell as far as leadership.